Ferdinand I of Romania, Ferdinand I, Ferdinand Victor Albert Meinrad, August 24, 1865, July 20, 1927, nicknamed Intregitoral, the Unifier, was King of Romania from 1914 until 1927. Although a member of Germany's ruling Hohenzollern imperial family, Ferdinand sided against the Central Powers in World War I. Thus, at the war's end, Romania emerged as a much enlarged kingdom, including Bessarabia, Bukovina, and Transylvania, and Ferdinand was crowned king off Greater Romania in a grand ceremony in 1922. He died from cancer in 1927, succeeded by his grandson Crown Prince Michael under a regency. Prince Ferdinand Victor Albert Meinrad of Hohenzollern Siegmaringen was born in Siegmaringen in southwestern Germany. The name was later shortened simply to Hohenzollern after the extinction of the Hohenzollern Heckingen branch in 1869. The princes of Hohenzollern Siegmaringen had ruled the principality until 1850, when it was annexed to Prussia. Ferdinand I was the son of Leopold, Prince of Hohenzollern Siegmaringen, and Infanta Antonia of Portugal. 1845 to 1913, daughter of Queen Maria II of Portugal and Prince Ferdinand of Saxe Coburg and Gotha, heir to the Slovakian originated Hungarian magnates of Kori on his mother's side. Following the renunciations, first of his father in 1880 and then of his elder brother Prince Wilhelm of Hohenzollern Siegmaringen in 1886, young Ferdinand became the heir presumptive to the throne of his childless uncle, King Carol I of Romania who would reign until his death in October 1914. In 1889, the Romanian parliament recognized Ferdinand as a prince of Romania. The Romanian government did not require his conversion to Eastern Orthodoxy from Catholicism, as was the common practice prior to this date, thus allowing him to continue with his born creed, but it was required that his children be raised Orthodox, the state religion of Romania. For agreeing to this, Ferdinand was excommunicated from the Catholic Church, although this was later lifted. Ferdinand's mother's first cousin Tsar Ferdinand I of Bulgaria sat on the throne of the neighboring Bulgaria beginning in 1887, and was to become a great stopponent of the kingdom of his Romanian cousins. The neighboring Emperor Francis Joseph, monarch of Austria-Hungary and as such, ruler of Transylvania, was Ferdinand's grandmother's first cousin. Ferdinand, a complete stranger in his new home, started to get close to one of Queen Elizabeth's ladies-in-waiting, Elena Vacarescu. Elizabeth the queen consort of Romania, very close to Elena herself, encouraged the romance, although she was perfectly aware of the fact that a marriage between the two was forbidden by the Romanian constitution. According to the 1866 Constitution of Romania, the heir presumptive to the throne was not allowed to marry a Romanian. The affair caused a sort of dynastic crisis, in 1891. The result of this was the exile of both Elizabeth, in Neuvit, and Elena, in Paris, as well as a trip by Ferdinand through Europe in search of a suitable bride, whom he eventually found in Queen Victoria's granddaughter, Princess Marie of Edinburgh. In Siegmaringen on January 10, 1893, Prince Ferdinand of Romania married his distant cousin, the Lutheran Princess Marie of Edinburgh, daughter of Anglican Prince Alfred, Duke of Edinburgh and the Orthodox Grand Duchess Marie Alexandrovna of Russia. Marie and Ferdinand were third cousins in descent from Franz Frederick Anton, Duke of saxe coburg saalfeld Marie's paternal grandparents were Victoria of the United Kingdom and Prince Albert of saxe coburg gotha Her maternal grandparents were Alexander II of Russia and Marie of Hesse and Byrein. The reigning emperor of the neighboring Russia, at the time of the marriage was Marie's uncle, Tsar Alexander III, who would be succeeded by his eldest son. Marie's cousin, Tsar Nicholas II, the following year. The marriage produced three sons, Carol, Nicholas and Mercia, one of whom, Mercia, died in infancy, and three daughters, Elisabetta, Maria, Mignon, and Elena. The marriage was unhappy and the couple's two youngest children, Elena and Mercia, are generally acknowledged to have been sired by Marie's longtime lover, Barbu Sturpe. Ferdinand succeeded his uncle on the latter's death. Caroli died without surviving issue, as King of Romania on October 10, 1914, reigning until his own death on July 20, 1927. He was the 1174th Knight of the Order of the Golden Fleece in Austria in 1909 and the 868th Knight of the Order of the Garter in 1924. Though a member of the cadet branch of Germany's ruling Hohenzollern imperial family, Ferdinand presided over his country's entry into World War I on the side of the Triple Entente powers against the Central Powers on August 27, 1916. 
Thus he gained the nickname the Loyal, respecting his oath when sworn in before the Romanian parliament in 1914, I will reign as a good Romanian. As a consequence of this betrayal toward his German roots, Kaiser Wilhelm II had Ferdinand's name erased from the Hohenzollern House Register. Despite the setbacks after the entry into war, when Dobruja and Wallachia were occupied by the Central Powers, Romania fought in 1917 and stopped the German advance into Moldavia. When the Bolsheviks sued for peace in 1918, Romania was surrounded by the Central Powers and forced to conclude the Treaty of Bucharest, 1918. However, Ferdinand refused to sign the treaty. When the Allied forces advanced on the Thessaloniki front, they knocked Bulgaria out of the war, and Ferdinand ordered the remobilization of the Romanian army. Romania re-entered the war on the side of the Triple Entente. The outcome of Romania's war effort was the union of Bessarabia, Bukovina and Transylvania with the Kingdom of Romania in 1918. Ferdinand became the ruler of a greatly enlarged Romanian state in 1918 to 1920 following the Entente's victory over the Central Powers, a war between the Kingdom of Romania and the Hungarian Soviet Republic, and the Civil War in Russia. He was crowned as King of Greater Romania in a spectacular ceremony on October 15, 1922 at the courtyard of the newly opened Coronation Cathedral in the historic princely seat of Alba Iulia, in Transylvania. A new period of Romanian history began on the day of the Union of Transylvania with Romania, Great Union Day, Marian on Iyer. This period would eventually come to an end with the international treaties that led up to World War II. These ceded parts of Romania to its neighbors. As such, they are widely seen as an attempt to provoke the country into taking sides and joining the war. Domestic political life during his reign was dominated by the conservative National Liberal Party led by the brothers Ion and Vindula Bredianu. The acquisition of Transylvania ironically enlarged the electoral base of the opposition, whose principal parties united in January 1925, October 1926, to form the National Peasant Party. Ferdinand died from cancer in Sinaia in 1927, and was succeeded by his grandson Crown Prince Michael, under a regency. The regency had three members, one of whom was Ferdinand's second son, Prince Nicholas. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.